When you are building your floor plans in Eckerhow, or indeed any design tool for that matter, one of the things that you need to do is put in measurements for the walls. So realistic information about how much RF attenuation that wall provides. Otherwise, you're going to have an RF design that looks great and then it might not work at all in reality. So uh, it's worthwhile taking a few measurements. Now, there's something I wanted to show you about this building. Uh, this is a CLASP building at the University of York. Now CLASP stands for uh, Consortium of Local Authority Special Projects. I don't know exactly when it was set up, but it was part of the post-war kind of building boom uh, and they, they went up in the 60s primarily. And the idea was that they were a modular building system that was really easy to roll out and design around. And, uh, you know, it's, it's, it's basically concrete floated platform, uh, steel frame wrapped in asbestos. Asbestos is designed into the building. I'll come back to that. Uh, and then concrete panels kind of hang on that frame and, and you can build them in any kind of shape you want, really. Uh, very flexible system and loads of problems with it because it's uh, it's really not thermally efficient is one of them. Um, the buildings, actually, they've lasted reasonably well, depending on who you ask, but they're, they're well past their design life, which was actually quite short. Now, uh, that asbestos creates all sorts of interesting problems. So, for example, in this building, one of the things that um, I absolutely cannot and must not do is drill into a wall or lift a ceiling tile or indeed in any way disturb the fabric of the building because you might release asbestos fibres and that, that's a very real risk. Um, that means running cables is a problem and the asbestos is baked into the design of the building. It's very difficult to remove. Uh, it can be contained and larger areas can be cleaned and indeed that does happen but it will still have asbestos around some of the building structure. That's not what I had to talk to you about though was this. This is a wall. Now, you would probably think that this corridor wall is a simple partition wall, probably plasterboard, 3 to 5 dB attenuation on that. Yeah, that, that's what I think too. However, here we have a fridge magnet and... Now this material is called Stelvatite and it was very popular at one stage because you could just stick magnets onto it and so that was quite cool. Uh, all the offices around this corridor are made of it and the corridor walls are made of it and everything's made of it. What Stelvatite is, is uh, sheet steel covered in plastic. Now, as you can imagine, that's not great for RF propagation. And in fact, I've measured most of these walls at about 20 dB attenuation on five gigahertz. So, yeah, that, that's that's pretty pretty extreme. Great for channel reuse. Uh, however, there's something else I want to show you. So we've you know we've checked around the building, we've measured a few walls, we've done what's sensible. All the buildings you know, seems to be the same across the plan, and everything shows the same, and that's metal. If I go to the other side of this door here, that is plasterboard or chipboard or something. I don't know. Don't really care. More importantly, it, that is 3 to 4 dB attenuation. So that's what you would expect to find, and this is not. And in fact, the rest of the corridor down here is not stelvatite, and at some point it's actually been refurbished, maybe cleaned of asbestos, maybe not, I don't know. But crucially, it really wreaks havoc with uh, the Eckerhau plans and, and deciding what's what. What do you do? Do you say, it's all 20 dB walls and go for the worst, or do you start measuring every single wall? That, that's probably not realistic if you're looking at a design for a whole campus. So some compromise is necessary. In fact, the way Wi-Fi currently works in this building and the way it's probably going to continue to work, I suspect, is the fact that the floor is wooden. So actually propagation vertically in the building is far easier than horizontally along the corridors. Um, anyway, I just thought that was something you might find interesting.